One of the things that you're going to have to do frequently is look at text files on the command line. Later on, we'll talk about how to edit those files using uh, either VI or Emacs or one of the standard command line text editors. Uh, there's a number of options available, but those tend to be the two most popular. Uh, but now what we want to do is sometimes you just want to view a file and see what's in it. So let's talk about some really basic commands that give us that capability. Uh, there are several commands in Unix that are called pagers. So the one you'll probably use the most often is called less. And I'm going to use less to look at this file in the slash etc directory, in the directory init.d, and the file itself is named rc. And this is a file that's, uh, it's a script file that's used uh, to initialize services at different run levels. It's basically used at boot time, and anytime we, we switch uh, basically what's called a run level. Uh, run levels kind of correspond to the total number of services that the system is offering. Um, and something we may talk about this semester, but it's a nice big file, so we can use it to look at it. So if I use less and I hit enter, what happens is the contents of that file get dumped to the screen. And I can use an arrow key to arrow down and read it, or I can use the up arrow key to go up and read through the file. If I hit the space bar, I can jump down one page at a time, and a page is dictated by the, the height of my console. And if I hit the letter B, I can go back one page at a time. So a really basic tool that allows you the flexibility to um, see uh, what's inside of a text file. Uh, to get out of it, you hit Q, and we're done. Less is actually a newer program that replaces an original Unix tool called More. So it's, there's a joke there, I guess. If I hit Enter, what you're going to find about More is that uh, I can hit Space, I can hit B to go back, but I can't use arrows to go up and down. So more only gives me the space bar to go forward one page chunk at a time, and B to go back, but I don't get that line by line. In fact, you can, you can hear it um, if that's coming through on the recording, uh, telling me that I can't do that. And again, I hit Q to quit. So you're almost always gonna wanna use um, more. Uh, you're, I'm sorry, you're almost always gonna wanna use less and never want to use more. Some other things you can do that are kind of helpful. So let's look at the same file. Uh, there is a program called tail, which will only show you uh, the last so many files, uh, lines in a file. And there is a program called, or a command called head, that will only show you the first few lines in a file. Uh, and by default, maybe it's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, so it'll show you the first and last 10. If we look at the man page for those commands, you'll notice that you can put in more numbers. Dash N is the total number of lines. You can also uh, issue uh, a command to show you X bytes from the file. So if I go back and I'm going to arrow up to tail, let's say I want to see 30 lines. I'll put um, dash uh, L 30. Oops, and it was dash N. I'll show you why I don't know the answer to this right away. There's 30 lines. So it's a little bit easier. Uh, one of the things you can do is I don't even think you need the command to end. You can just put dash 30. And that's in mostly what I've always done. So again, here's another case of a non-standard option for a command. Instead of having to put dash n, uh, I also had to use, uh, I could just put dash and then the number of lines that I want. So a really great way to just see the end or beginning of a file. That can be useful if you're looking at log files. And later on, we'll look at some additional features of tail. Uh, you can basically tell tail to, to, to constantly read from the end of a file as things are added to it. So it's a way to get a real-time uh, review of a log as uh, uh, lines are added to it, basically. And we'll look at that a little bit later on in the semester. So uh, head and tail can be useful. Uh, one other program that's pretty useful uh, is the cat program. Uh, so I'm just going to go back up and erase back over these. We'll talk about some shortcuts on the um, command uh, line for, in, in a, again, moving forward. So cat just dumps an entire file to the console. And notice I can't scroll up, I can't scroll down. I see the end of the file, but only because, you know, I um, uh, that's, that's what's displaying at the end of the console. Uh, so cat can be used to dump files uh, to the console. And we'll see cat uh, come back time and time again. It actually is really useful. Uh, one of the things that you can do is, uh, let's say, for example, I want to cat two files. So you can actually concatenate, and that's what cat stands for, two files. So let's say I want to concatenate uh, that with the uh, Etsy, Etsy password file. And if I, I think I can go over here and grab a scroll bar, what you'll notice is cat actually combined and dumped the outputs of both those files to the command line. Uh, again, we'll come back and look at cat 
again, uh, because cat's going to be really helpful when we talk about what's called command line redirection, where it allows us to take uh, multiple files and combine them into a new single file. So that's really helpful as well. So there's a couple of ways that you can um, review files on the Linux system to see what's in them. And uh, hopefully that's helpful.